Jack Skellington is back at the Haunted Mansion. I think I've got something to say about that. I love the Nightmare Overlay! Okay, I just wanted to lead off with that a little bit, just in case I am completely inept at uh, making my point in the next few minutes in this video. Yeah, so Jack Skellington and the rest of the Nightmare Before Christmas cast uh, made their return to the Haunted Mansion for their annual Nightmare Before Christmas overlay, and the Fresh Bait crew got to enjoy our first ride-throughs on Saturday morning. And in the days leading up to this, I was trying to recall my feelings, the feelings that I had about the attraction uh, last year and years previous, about, you know, what it is that I was feeling, and, and I recall being really, like, going bazonkers over it, like, loving it, just madly loving it like crazy. And, and a year later, I'm asking myself, well, wh what is the big deal? Why did I lose my ish over it like that? I mean, I didn't, I, I'm not even a, really a, a big fan of the movie. I mean, I like the movie, but I, I didn't buy the t-shirt. I, I don't have a Sally tattoo on my arm or anything like that, but I mean, I like it. It's fun. So why do I love the Nightmare Overlay so much? Why do I, why do I lose my mind <laughs> the first time I ride it? every year. I mean, I guess that's kind of obvious, right? I mean, there's the new characters and they look great in every scene. I love the color. I love the energy. I love the music. I love the fact that it brings the mansion to life in a way that the OG mansion never really could and can't, really. And I, and I know there's a lot of people that are with me on this. I know Sarah loves it, too. But maybe what I really want to talk about today is not really why I love it. Uh, it's more that I'm, I'm troubled. I'm, I'm troubled by my enthusiasm for Nightmare. I know this may seem a little weird, or maybe you can relate, I don't know, but I'm troubled by the fact that I don't hate it, that, or at least not like it. I should be more angry about the Haunted Mansion Nightmare Overlay. I'm troubled because the Haunted Mansion is the, it's, it's the haunted freaking mansion, man. Arguably the most historic attraction in the history of Disneyland. Shouldn't I be offended as a fan of Haunted Mansion that they've taken it and completely gutted it. Well, I shouldn't say completely, but they've replaced everything just about with with somebody else's genius, somebody that isn't Disney and his genius. I mean, he's kind of an honorary Disney, but Tim Burton isn't Disney. Wait, I take that back. He did work for the Disney company for a little while, but they didn't really like what he was doing, did they? And he kind of, remember that video? There's a video out there, uh, of, you know, like a documentary that they did about, uh, I, I forget what it was called. I think it was Waking Sleeping Beauty. And they showed Tim Burton tucked in a corner in a closet. He was drawing in a closet. He, he just, he's not Disney, he's not a Disney guy, I guess. But apparently they all got together. But I digress. I mean, shouldn't I be standing up and shouting and shaking my fist and saying, don't, you know, you're messing with the history of Disneyland. And, and, and you're taking four months to do it. Think about that for a second. Imagine, if you will, Pirates of the Caribbean being shut down for four months so they could do... Jake and the Neverland Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I know that example is a little severe because Jake and the Neverland Pirates does not have anywhere near the cachet that, that Haunted Mansion, I mean, that Nightmare Overlay does, but you get my point. They're, people would be furious. So why isn't there a bunch of email in my, you know, in my spam folder from change.org asking me to sign a petition to stop with the Nightmare Overlay that they do every year? Why aren't there sit-ins in front of the gate with people with signs saying, hell no, we won't go until you give us back Ezra and, <laughs> you know, and the singing bus and, and, and our, our OG haunted mansion. But I have a theory, and it, and it just might blow your mind. It could be because it's freaking phenomenal. Fun characters, great art. I can see, I can see what they want me to see. And, and it smells like gingerbread. It smells like gingerbread. The stretching room is, 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 Fantastic! And they've taken something that's already legendary and they've made it better? They took the scrim technology in the ceiling for the uh, for the ghost host and they've, they've had Jack pop out at you at the top. I mean, that to me, that's like one of my favorite scenes in the entire uh, ride is when Jack pops his head down there and says, Happy Halloween, everybody. And it's just, it's really just, it's life. It's life in that room. And I'm, I'm absolutely in love with zero scene at the beginning with the bones and the flower and the stretch, you know, the, the hallway and the wonderfully creative, I mean, just bonkers creative uh, banquet hall scene where the Imagineers are given a chance to really flex their well, um, muscle, I guess. Do Imagineers have muscle? I don't know. But whatever, whatever it is that they do, they can really, they, it shines. They get the chance to be creative every year. And it smells like gingerbread in there. But you know what, what really brings it all together for me is the graveyard scene. 
I remember the first time I rode the, the Haunted Mansion with the Nightmare Overlay, very first time, and I was enjoying it. I was having a good time. It was a nice novelty. It was fun. You know, and I, it was, I could see that it was something that people, why people could love it. But I wasn't really fully connected to it yet until I left the attic and you start, you know, falling out the window as you go downhill. And on your left, you can see the snow peak with the pumpkins that are all lit up and they're stuffed in the snow. And uh, I saw that and I just, it was such an OMG moment for me in my head. I could not believe that that existed in my graveyard. That existed or exists. They put that in there. They put that in there. They said, you know what? We're going to take this graveyard scene that's got these ghosts and they're, you know, they're grinning and they're coming out to socialize and it's fun and it's campy and they stuck a giant snowdrift peak right in the middle with a bunch of brightly lit pumpkins and I lost my mind. The snow peak and, and then the singing busts were turned into pumpkins. Brilliant. And then the, the, the two little creatures, snow creatures or whatever that are you know, blowing the horns. I mean, how can you not love this? And you know, maybe it's because I'm a sucker for lighting effects. I really am. I love popcorn lights. I love candles. Uh, you know what I love? I love ground effects. Maybe that's why I like the Fast and the Furious series so much. <laughs> I mean, those cars are pretty awesome, right? I asked myself, wh why, are you, why are you spending all that money to fix up the car to race it around the street and pull a five-ton uncrackable safe behind you? You know, they have, they have cars specifically for, for that purpose. <laughs> They're called trucks, <laughs> right? I mean, those cars can't pull that safe anyway. There is a difference, everybody. There is a difference, creators of Fast and Furious, between between horsepower and torque. <laughs> horsepower makes it go fast. If you want to pull something heavy that has a really low center of gravity, you need torque. That's a truck. But I don't care. I love those movies anyway. And I, I just I feel like I just came out of like a fugue state or something like that. Where where was I? Oh yes. Yeah, so how can how can you not be impressed with the hot, with, the, with the Nightmare Overlay. How can you not be impressed with that? And again, after a reflection, I think that the beef mainly with those who don't like the, the Nightmare Overlay isn't so much with the change, which really, that should be what they're upset about, but it isn't so much the change, it's that it takes four months to do it. Yeah, the Haunted Mansion gets closed for two weeks to put it in, and then it's up for three months, you know, for Halloween and Christmas, and then it's another two weeks to get it out. And then we're back to regular OG Mansion in early January. And in the end, the result is that we have the greatest attraction in the history of Disneyland, or maybe second greatest, depending on, you know, where you stand, uh, is online for only eight months of the year. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm kind of good with that. Matter of fact, it's, it's just about perfect, in my opinion. So let's just pretend that uh, I, I, I believe that the Haunted Mansion with the Nightmare Overlay is the greatest attraction ever created by Disney. It's, I'm, I'm that far on the fandom spectrum, which I'm not, but I'm just saying, let's just pretend that if I am. It still doesn't play in February or, or March or, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't play except in, you know, Halloween and Christmas. So in the end, you've got, it's a, it's a perfect opportunity for us to you know, switch things up, and it, it's, a, it's a nice, easy fit for the stuff to come in and come out. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of work to do it, and you, and you get a change of pace that you can't get anywhere else. I know, it, it's, at, you know the, it's at the cost of the Haunted Mansion kind of being replaced a little bit, but, I mean, it's worth it, don't you think? I think it's worth it. And I, and I don't believe that there is a solution to the it's too long argument where some people think it should be there only for Halloween, or some people think it should be there only for Christmas. I don't, I don't think it can be done. It's, it's a legit two holiday, two holiday ride. So yeah, I'm good with the three month run and I love the Nightmare Overlay and in January, I'm ready to take on the OG Mansion, you know, in its full historical glory. But what about you, Fresh Bake? What about you? What do you think? Well, I, I wanna hear, we got a lot of responses on the previous video and I wanna hear what you guys think about, about the Haunted Mansion and I want you to really tell me the truth. That's what I want. I, that, you know, I believe in the truth. I tell the truth every single day and I want, you know, don't give me the, the same argument that you hear a lot about the, you know, the three month thing or whatever. I mean, I really wanna know how do you feel, your honest opinion on the, on the Nightmare Overlay. Do you like it? Do you pretend not to like it because you know you don't want to you don't want to hate on you know a, a classic Disneyland attraction kind of like how I feel about Small World a little bit. It's not my favorite ride, but they better not take it out. I, yeah, I mean I could think of 15, 20 things I'd rather do than go in Small World, but I still go. I feel like I owe it to Walt. And I feel like I owe it to Disneyland to keep hanging on. <laughs>
Uh, and maybe there's some of you that feel that way about Haunted Mansion, and it seems like it would make sense, because it's definitely more of a legendary attraction than Small World. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. It depends on where you fall, right? I mean, we're all walking our own path, Fresh Baked. Tell me what you think. I, I'm bad like that. Tell me what you think, Fresh Baked. I want to hear your thoughts. Nightmare overlay. Too long? Awesome? Bad? Terrible? Whatever. I want to hear it. All right, I guess that's it, everybody. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Secrets and History videos or maybe our ride-throughs. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. It truly is the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Oh, and don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake through our Patreon campaign. Link below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake!